And welcome to Smoking Joe Gamer. This is Metroidvania Episode 6. This is part 2 of Blaster Master Zero for the Nintendo Switch. So, here we go. Now, oh. alright, hang on. Alright. Yeah, you know what? That looks stupid. Hang on. And it won't let me do that. Okay. Right. Yeah, so I don't know. For some reason, this game has these black lines and whatever. Can't do anything about it. So, anywho. And I'm tanked. All that thing. What the hell is that? Sorry. <laughs> oh, hang on. Technical issues with wires and shit. Okay. So, today is Wednesday, May 10th, 2023. It is 9.38 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll probably play up until about 11.15, 11.30 thereabouts. And let's take a look here. All right, good. Stream is up and running. Everything should be fine. Okay. Good. Oh. Hang on. close this out and I'm starting late again but you know it's just something I got to work on that's all and discord is telling people that I'm playing okay good so let's just get this show on the road shall we Which way am I actually supposed to be going here? Okay. I came in from the left, right? Or did I? Hang on. Maybe I'm supposed to go. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Oh yeah, okay. I beat the boss. Got it. And I got the key card. Okay, good. So let's just get back to where I was. Let's figure out where the hell I gotta use this key card. How about that? Okay. Unfortunately, this is kind of getting in the way, so let's put it down here. Okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's gonna get in the way no matter where I put it. Okay. So, hang on. Oops. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. I'm a professional, I swear. Alright, here we go. I'm an IT professional. Jeez. when you run out of energy, huh? That's why you gotta get more. Damn 
bees. That's what I call them. I just call them bees. That's what they look like to me. in that cave that apparently I didn't find or something and there's a boss in this cave over here okay cool so let's head over here oh you can't hover underwater that's wonderful Oh no, not this again. Damn water. I can feel the, ah, uh, I can feel the controller vibrating when the water's about to hit. It's crazy. part I did show you a little bit of the original Blaster Master from NES which is still a great game but this is just better I think and it's only five bucks ah no understand what I'm supposed to do to those blue blocks. So this is a game I bought seven years ago now. That's how long the Switch has been out, and this was a launch title. No! Oh. Okay, so it doesn't hurt you if you don't actually ram into anything. Okay. Interesting. Depends on what it slams you into. 
Got it. This is much easier than the original, too. Although maybe you unlock like a hard mode or something if you beat it. And it did get two sequels. Alright. Oh, who the fuck are you? Spark Salamander. Oh boy. Aha! Okay. This guy sucks. This is the safest way to fight him, right? Ah! Ow. Gotcha. Nice. Gimme, give gimme. Give Spark tackle. Excellent. Yeah, that's cool. Alright. Excellent music in this game if you're into like chip tunes. And who isn't, right? If you don't like chip tunes, then then I don't know. I guess you just didn't grow up in the eighties like I did. Or the nineties or whatever year it was. Whatever. Yeah, so I grew up in the nineties, but I'm still still have plenty of 80s nostalgia for certain things, and I'm upset that the Goldberg is ending, even though the quality has been declining for the past few seasons. Ow! Damn it. Now what? It's claiming that there's something I missed in here. Or I didn't go in there to, at all to begin with? Let's find out. I could have sworn I was in here already, but... Oh yeah! So there's stuff I can't get because it's dark in here. Got it. And apparently it's not just dark, there's like water too, so, you know, I kept falling in something. Okay, but where does the game actually want me to go now? There. It wants me to go all the way back. Okay. But if I go up this way, there's a save point and another cave I can go into. So let me try that. Let's see if I can go up this way instead. Ow. I know. I'm getting hit a lot. Ah, oh, no. Wrong button. I thought I saw the homing missiles. <laughs> Whoops. No! Oh! Alright. So, yeah, your only penalty for dying is that you just 
have to, I mean, it respawns you at the last cave or save point. Okay. So, that's fine. You just, you know, lose a little bit of time. That's five minutes of your life you won't get back, right? So I watched the Tetris movie today, and I thought it was pretty friggin' cool. I don't know how accurate it is, but it's pretty neat. Oh, God damn it! I know, when you run out of the blue energy, then you can't hover anymore, and then it just makes the platforming so tedious. Oh, okay, I couldn't have gone this way anyways, because I didn't have the key, but now I can. That's pretty neat. Okay. Oh. So many bees. up from the bottom here. Okay. I feel like I'm missing a power-up that would let me shoot the blue ones, but maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Oh, this again? Tadrol's snack time. Okay. Oh, it's these guys. Okay. I think I got the right weapon for this fight, huh? many I can get on the screen. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
definitely could be useful. Alright, now where do I go? Yeah, so there's a lot of optional stuff in this game. It's definitely worth doing. But of course, there's also a lot of stuff I would end up skipping if I were, you know, trying to speedrun it and all that. That is really useful, huh? This looks familiar. I'm sure I've been here before on my other file. Oh, he can't jump out of the water. Jeez. Yeah. Okay, so you gotta jump just right so that you hit that ladder there. Okay. That's annoying. Oh! Alright, but you're supposed to use the background object to figure out where to land. Okay. Oh! This is hard. We solved the puzzle. Area five. This is gonna suck, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, I remember this, yeah. I remember this. Dog on it. I like this game. It's not too difficult, but as you can see, it's not that easy either. You'll still die. So if you're on the fence about getting a 120 hertz screen, I recommend it. With even games like this, I can see a difference when I look over at the TV. Because my TV has FreeSync Premium, so even if it's not 120 FPS, it's still kind of... It's just smoother, you know? Yeah, it's pretty cool. And it begs the question, when is... Twitch gonna update their uh, upload limits so you can actually do 4K 120 FPS. But the answer is probably never, or, or you have to be a partner or something. Oh well. Bunch of these fuckers. Alright. Yeah, that's not helpful, is it? to do for me. That didn't do anything for me at all.
Ah, oh, it didn't do me any good, did it? Oh. in a big circle. I think I do have to go over there. isn't telling me anything. Grab the ladder, but that's there. All right, when I get the tank back, I'll be able to just come back this way and just shoot that to get through. Okay, got it. All right, I did it. So this must be where I get the upgrade. Oh, but I can't fucking see anything. Wonderful. dark but I can still navigate it. As long as I don't step in the holes. Okay, got it. What? 
Oh, I just can't see the right way to go, that's all. I can't go that way. I went this way already. And am I missing something here? Because there's no way to get across. Be, uh, missing something here because there's no path. Hang on, I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Yeah, you can't see it, but I just maxed out the brightness on my TV. I'm trying to figure out where the hell they expect me to go. jump and there's no path and the map is worthless. The map is seeming to indicate I can go up but I can't because this is as far over as you can go. And there's in, an invisible object here. I don't get it. I must be missing a uh, power up or something. step on certain spots. I don't see anything there. Well, I'll be damned. Just had to go up this way instead. Okay. There we go. Alright. there was a door up there. What the hell? I swear that game 
the map indicates there's a door up there. I guess I didn't step on it. Okay, yeah, there are like invisible rocks around here. Okay. And that's a hole. Was, am I missing a power-up that they didn't tell me about? I... that there's a boss in this room, but apparently you can't fight him if you can't turn the lights on. Okay. Sure. Gurnahide. Sure. Whatever that means. Dude's got a lot of health, apparently. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Like his face is resistant to damage. Okay, yeah. have to have like piercing bullets. What the? I don't get it. Wow, look how easy it is when you have the best weapon in the game. <laughs> At full power. Cool. That's it? That's it. Okay. What the hell is that supposed to do for me? Why am I even down here? Where am I supposed to go? In the cutscene, she said, I know where a chip is. Well, where is it? The one time it doesn't tell you where to go is the one time you need it to actually tell you where to go.
So what is the point to this room? If I miss that jump, I just end up going that way anyways. So what difference does it make? All this does is take me back up to here, but what does that do for me? Nothing. He can't shoot. Yeah, he needs the tank to shoot those blocks. Okay. And I can't get back out without the tank. Okay. So I'm stuck down here until I figure out where the hell I'm supposed to go. And the map is not telling me anything. Right. So the tank can't get up there anyways. I already went in there. Alright, I'm stuck down here, which means that what I need is obviously down here somewhere. can't get out of the tank while it's falling, just so you know. <laughs> Alright. I don't know. So I just... I was in the right area, just the wrong cave. It would be nice if the game would tell me where this cave is, like it has for every other cave in the game up to this point. Okay, what's over here? This looks promising. Nope. Just help. I don't need help. I find it hard to believe that that whole puzzle is devoted to an item you don't even need. Alright, what's in here? No, I can't get in there anyways. Okay. Alright. The current is too strong. So let's go this way. Ah. 
This better be the right one. But it has to be. Is it dark? Nope. Okay. to completely stop and there can't be any gap at all between them. <sighs> okay. And it lets you know because the light stops blinking. Got it. right on top of you so you can't fucking hit them. Okay, now what? Okay. Is this all just one cave?
The mutant evolved so it could use computer chips? What? The Abyssal Predator. Hard Shell. Got it. Piece of cake if you have full health and all that. So let's try that again. It's one of the more interesting bosses, I'll say, but... Oh, that's right, she's still inside the tank. That means the tank can move freely, not him, though. Go against the well, you all right. You can go against the current, it's just all right. All right, now it's telling me where it wants me to go. Okay, fine. have to hold the jump button. Got it. No! Ah! <laughs> These guys are dumb. Six. 
Alright, so I'm caught up to where I was in my previous file. That's good. Froze everything, got it. can actually get rid of the ice. Cool. <laughs> That's neat. Take that ice. Ice to meet you. Uh, uh. I guess when you find the map, then it actually tells you stuff. Got it. Area 6 is pretty damn big, huh? No! Oh, ow. So now the radar is working. Okay. My guess is I must have missed like a map or something in the previous area. Alright. Oh, uh, what do you end up?
Are you serious? Alright, that was pointless. Great. Pointless. Hey, what's up? Visual night. Glad you could make it. I figured, I figured you probably just had work and stuff. I just noticed you hadn't been chatting in a while, and so. So, working full, working full time now, running help desk, get your nonprofit, good times, less headaches, most of the bitchy people quit. Okay. Hey, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I gotta figure out how to, um, get it to show the chat in the video itself, so then it'll come up on YouTube. It's probably some kind of plug-in or something. Yeah, I'm in OBS. I figure there's probably an overlay or something I can do. Okay. OBS chat overlay in game. This is not possible with OBS. Sure it is. Oh, it's recommending something with Streamlabs, what? Okay. Well, I have the box that I can read, but I mean, I want it to actually show it when I export to YouTube. All right. Oh, OBS chat overlay YouTube. Let's see what this does. do anything in the middle of the screen anyways. Okay. Yeah, a lot of pizza places closed during COVID, you're right. Um, where I live, like, the two best places gone. I did find a new place that's nearby and they deliver. 
but my town now has three or four different pizza places that are very good, but they don't deliver. So I just... I was actually getting Domino's for a while because they actually deliver. It's like, wow. So for the next stream, my goal is to figure out how to get the chat to actually show up in the video, and that way people on YouTube can see it. But for now, I just have to say everything that people type so that viewers can just at least hear it. <laughs> Yeah, I keep saying that I'm going to do 9 to 11, and then I don't start until 9.30, and, yeah. And then I'd like to maybe start doing 8 to 10, or something, but I don't know. So then, you know, I get into bed, like, at, like, 12 or 1, and then it's like I'm not tired anyways. It's just weird. I think I'm getting closer. No, I'm not getting closer. Oh. Oh, but maybe I can do this cave real quick since I'm already over here. Nope. Oh. Ow. Ow. Stupid caterpillar things. So then on Sunday Night Shenanigans, my buddy Ask Wheels is very close to beating Resident Evil Village. He's right near the end. But we're definitely going to be playing some Street Fighter VI next month. And it turns out it has cross-play like, for every platform, so I'm just going to get it on Steam. And you might have heard that I got the RTX 4070 graphics card, and I like it a lot. So... I'm going to get Street Fighter on Steam, and I already played the demo. I know it can run it at 4K, maxed out. Oh, come on! Not another one of these stupid dark rooms. I can't see anything. I think I missed a power-up somewhere. But... Yeah, the 3080 is a good card. So the 4070 is the same power level as a 3080, but it's as efficient as a 3060 in terms of like how much power it uses but it's also just a massive improvement over my 6600 xt but yeah if you already have a 3080 3080 ti then you'd, you'd want to upgrade to a 4080 and then you'd probably need a bigger case and better power supply and all that my power supply is only 750 watts so i didn't want to get something too power hungry and have to replace it Plus, I didn't want to spend 800 fucking dollars. I mean, the good news is you can get new graphics cards for MSRP. The bad news is the MSRP is ridiculous. And the eBay scalpers still don't want to lower the prices on the old cards. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, the 4070 is 12 gigs of VRAM. And so far, it's been enough for the games I've played. Of course, I didn't get... Last of Us Part 1, and some of the other more, you know, ram-hungry games. But see, what's interesting is that, like, RE4 Remake and the other Resident Evil games, those can typically go over the VRAM and still be, like, fully playable. It's, I think it's a good engine that they use. Oh, what do I do here? Oh, jeez. Found a pizza place, pepperoni, extra cheese, mushrooms. Hell yeah. Yeah, and, and the thing is, you know that in two to three years, they're going to have the 
8,000 series and the 5,000 series and the yada yada and yeah. So. Plenty of benefits to waiting, of course. But I just wanted something now. And I don't expect good things from the set, the inevitable 7800 XT. Plus, they already released some of the specs for the, the 4060 Ti, and it, it looks like it's going to be awful. So, you know, AMD has been poking fun at NVIDIA for having only 12 gigs of VRAM instead of 16. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. Didn't the Radeon 7 have um, 16 gigs of VRAM? And how did that work out? It didn't have the processing power to really utilize it. Right? So, RAM capacity and RAM speed are equally important. Like, the... Uh, the new Intel, the, the ARC GPU, there's a version that has 16 gigs of VRAM, and I'm like, yeah, but you're going to drop to an unplayable frame rate before you hit that threshold. So, 12 is adequate for the games I play. But yeah, no, I get what you're saying, though. Like, some at some point, there will be something even better, and it'll have 16 or 24 gigs of VRAM in the base model, so, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, so the point is... Hang on. Make good with what you have. I'm building a classic P3 computer so I can have a DOS box. But running the motherboard with anything past 60 gigabytes causes invalid DMA pools, so I have to flash the motherboard firmware. The 970 and 970 Ti were advertised as 4 gig, but it really has 3.5, and it's only half the speed of memory versus... Yeah, 700 series. Right. So... Like, I still have my old R9 Nano graphics card. It was a smaller Fury series, but it only had four gigs of VRAM, but it was HBM. And right on the box, it's marketed as having like 500 gigabyte throughput or whatever. And it's it was marketed as 4K ready, but the HDMI standard could only do 30 Hertz at 4K. So, I, I and it wasn't powerful enough to do any games even from that time like there were games that wouldn't let me even raise the settings because it would go above the vram and then the last two cards i had the 5500 xt 6600 xt were both eight gigs of vram which was a lot at the time but it was like a very uh low bandwidth so i think it, i think they were both like 128 or something and they only used eight lanes so at least I have a 16-lane card for my motherboard now. But if I wanted to get better RAM and a better processor, I would have to get another motherboard. And I don't want one of the uh, Ryzen 7 7000 series because apparently they're melting and lighting on fire and shit. So I'm happy with my 5800X, thank you very much. Yeah. Marketing sucks. Marketing is a necessary evil... But they always, always, always lie. But, I mean, blast processing was awesome, right? And mode 7 was awesome, right? <laughs> no lying there. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was the Ryzen 7 7800X and higher that were melting. And supposedly they fixed it with a firmware update, but... Yeah. I don't know. So it looks like I just picked up the frog that he lost, but... Either I skipped the cutscene or they just didn't say anything because... It just... Oh, there he is. Oh, that is... Okay, so I found Fred the Frog. So now what do I do? Yeah, 
Yeah, no, the, the Ryzen 7 5800X is... That's what I got in here now. It's awesome. But the problem is, if I want to go to something better, I'd have to get a, uh, a better motherboard anyways, if I wanted to go up to the 7000 series. Um, although I could also try, like, a... I think there's a 59... A Ryzen 9 5900X, but then I might have to get, like, liquid cooling and all that shit. I don't want to. Yeah, this one... Um, yeah, so Master Blaster for NES is... It's a great game, but this is a, a remake launched as a Switch exclusive in 2016, I think, or 2017. When did the Switch come out? 2017. Okay, yeah, so six years ago, whatever. But, um, and they, they really expanded the story and everything, and then they made two sequels. So maybe I'll get around to playing those this month or next, or sometime in the future. We'll see. Yeah, I, I think this is just way better than the original, because they just improved upon everything. It's easier, there's more weapons, there's an actual story instead of just boy loses frog. Wait, why didn't I go over there? Hold on. I wasn't paying attention and now I can't remember why I skipped what I skipped over there. All right, hang on. Why couldn't I go to the right? What happened? Ah! Because there is nothing over there. What? Unless there's a hole in the wall. Oh, it looks like maybe there's a hidden path. All right, hang on. I think I see it. Ha! Ah! <laughs> oh. Never mind. Oh, I can dash through these things? Oh, well, that's neat. Okay. I didn't know I could do that. Okay, but I can't shoot downward. What? That's lame. I don't have a weapon that can shoot downward and destroy these things. Okay. Wonderful. Well, that was pointless. You know, I'll just fucking die on purpose. Why not? <laughs> I'm just gonna die on purpose. I don't care. Yeah, hang on, I missed some chat here. Let's see. Well, I'm running a 3950X. I can go to the 5950X if I want, but I don't see the point because there is no bottleneck for the price piece. Sure. Your boyfriend has the 5700G and is happy with that. That's cool. And then I want to say the 5800X3D, doesn't that have a GPU built in? So you could probably use that for like. Just a small emulator box kind of thing. So what I find interesting though, like... You need an NVIDIA card to get DLSS, because that's like their proprietary thing. But it turns out I can still use FSR in a bunch of games. And I don't know if it's because of my processor, or maybe it's just because it's a software feature. But like an RE4 remake, I can actually run the game in 4K with ray tracing at 60 FPS if I turn on FSR 2.0, and it doesn't hurt the graphics too much either. 
But obviously any game that supports DLSS 3.0 is going to have a huge advantage over the AMD cards. So... Okay. 7000 series is all iGPU. Okay. So... What does the game want me to do? I don't need you to tell me how to use things. I need you to tell me where to go. No? Alright, she's not telling me where to go. Wonderful. It's just funny how the game randomly tells you where to go and then randomly stops telling you where to go. No, this is a... This started out as a Switch exclusive. It was a Switch launch title, but it's also on Steam now. Actually, it might be on other platforms, I'm not sure, but... No, this this was not a Super Nintendo game, no. Although, I I seem to recall, didn't Genesis and SNES get a sequel, though? Blaster Master 2? I didn't play that one. What the hell? All right, let's go in this cave. So there's two sequels to this game. Blaster Master 02 and 03. That's what Street Fighter did with the Alpha games. Street Fighter 0, 2, and 3. It's like, alright, that doesn't make any sense, but they were still good games. Oh, great, these ugly fuckers are back. So I gave up on Metric Fusion after three streams because it was just pissing me off. But you can still catch my uh, Metroid 1 stream. I beat it in two hours and skipped Ridley. That was fun. So I did get back onto Amazon Prime, which includes Switch Prime, so hopefully my I think my videos will stay up for two months instead of one week or something. Although I still archive them on YouTube, so that's fine. Yeah, I don't like these fucking guys. They're creepy looking. Is there a research for, for learning how to stream on YouTube that I can look at you? Um, you know what? <laughs> there, I'm sure there is. I actually haven't done it before. That's a good question, because I'm not sure if OBS even has that in here. Hang on. Let's see. Um, of course, I'm still learning new things about all this stuff, so I don't know. Maybe someday I'll actually be a professional streamer. <laughs> uh, what am I looking for here? Settings. So if you go into OBS settings and you go to stream, I can't do it right now. Okay. But there's a tab for service. YouTube might be in there. Failing that, you might have to get a different um, program. You might have to get like Streamlabs or something. Oh, yeah, I don't know. You know, a long time ago, you could stream to YouTube directly from the PS4, and I don't know why they stopped doing that. I 
I think that's the only time I ever streamed straight to YouTube was from the PS4 before Sony killed it. All right. What the hell? I think this entire room is a mutant. What? The forbidden weapon. Ancient freeze. What the hell? What the fuck? Hey, that's helpful. All right. the game? I don't think so. I should have done something similar to this in D-Bot's Meet Room. Yeah, D-Bot's was pretty cool. Definitely. And I was able to beat the boss in D-Bot's, by the way. He was tricky. It took three or four tries, but I got him. Only thing is, after I beat him, there was I couldn't find anything else to do. But maybe that was by design. Everybody should try depots. All right, so I wasn't even reading the text. What did I? What did I miss here? Oh, you were supposed to go upstairs to the roof and leave the level. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just couldn't figure out how to get there. Hey, Ask Wheels, what's up? Oh yeah, it's it's after eleven, so Ask Wheels is available. How about that? So, what the hell did I just pick up? Oh! I can climb walls now. Cool. Wait, so the tank can climb walls, not the kid, not Jason. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Lower drop, huh? Jeez. And none of this was in the original game. The original game was just the frog runs away. The kid falls into an underground cave, finds a tank, and just wants to save his frog, so. What? If Big the Cat was in this back in the day on Genesis, I would have been scared. Sure. Big the Cat always sounds like he's stoned. He sounds like Tommy Chong when he talks. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> she got a memory back, cool. So it seems like they expanded the story in such a way that they could just keep doing more sequels, which is fine by me. No way. But Jason, why? 
There's still a lot I don't get, but if these mutants are aiming to destroy the Earth, then I can't just walk away now. Yeah, you're right. So Fred was actually a drone. Yeah. I, I am also overdue to play these games. You know why? Because I bought this game six fucking years ago. I actually just canceled Game Pass for a little while so I can go back and finish games that I actually bought. And because uh, Redfall was so fucking terrible. And so was Scorn. And so was Wolong Dynasty. And just th there's just a whole list of Game Pass games that piss me off. And Zelda's coming out next week, so what do I need Game Pass for? Yeah. Okay, so... Fred is a drone who is monitoring mutant activity on Earth. So the frog is a robot. But then Eve is an android who was supposed to fix the tank. And the tank was designed to fight the mutants. And Jason is just some regular kid who just happened to find the tank. Okay. Okay, you said I could climb walls. What the hell? Why can't I go up there? All right. I can't go that way. Climb on cliffs and walls while moving towards a cliff or a wall. Hold the wall button to begin climbing. Oh! Whoa, what? What? <laughs> I had to press left trigger. I had to press left trigger to do that. Hold on. But now it won't let... Oh! <laughs> That's fucking cool. <laughs> Alright, when you get to the edge, you gotta press the button. Okay. Oh, now I know how I could get that uh, power up in that other room. Alright, that's great. Oh, this is wild. Look at this. Yeah, I played Redfall on PC with my brand new graphics card, and on the highest settings, I swear, it looks like an Xbox One game. Like, the fog and atmospheric volumetric lighting and all that, it was like, you gotta be kidding me. It looked like staircases. They're just pixelated. And the game stuttered like crazy, even at 1440p, and... I don't know. Just a really weird game. Alright, so I'm just gonna go back this way because I, I don't care about completionism. Did I play Curse of the Moon Part 2 yet? Um. Yes. Hang on, do I have that on here? I have something on here. Hang on a second. Um. It may not be installed. Hang on. I, I think I have both of those games, but I want to say... Hang on. I want to say the second one was better. Let me just see here. Um, yeah, so I do have Blaster Master Zero 2. Okay. And I do have Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Um, the second one I think I have on Steam. I think it's better? Hang on, people are talking. Oh. Steamed hands, what? Um, let me open Steam real quick. Oh, Chocobo GP, they stopped supporting that, didn't they? Yeah, what else do I not have installed on here right now? Anything interesting? Oh, the original Guilty Gear. Oh, that game's fucking hard. Oh, Gear Club Unlimited is actually kind of cool.
Ugh, ugh, ugh. Freaking Overwatch 2. Oh, I hate that game. It's not even a sequel. Yeah, I have Sonic Mania on like three different platforms. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then Super Mario Bros. 35. They, uh, I don't think you can play that anymore either. Um, Alright, so there we go. Yeah, I want to say the second one is is very good. I think it was better than the first one in some ways. I think it had different characters. Let's see. Yeah, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2. I have it on Steam, yeah. Um, says I played it for 91 minutes back in 2021. Okay, sure. So I didn't beat it, but... All right. So later this month, I do want to play one of the Shantae games. I'm not sure which one, but it'll probably be Seven Sirens, because I didn't beat that one. And it's the newest. And then I was going to do some of the Game Boy Advance Castlevania games. I was going to do either Harmony of Dissonance or Aria of Sorrow. I haven't played either one before, so... It wants me to go all the way back. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to go all the way back to the top right to get that power up. And then I know there's two other caves I can explore, but I think one of them was dark or something. There must be some kind of flashlight weapon that I missed. But you'd think that they would have pointed that out to me. I don't know. Now, in this game, you can also play as some other characters if you purchase them, but you can... Play as uh, Shovel Knight and Shantae if you buy them. And they have their own movesets and everything from their games. Which is neat. Oh! So we are going to watch Wheels beat uh, Resident Evil Village on Sunday, I think, right? That's going to be cool. And then he's going to play RE2 Remake, and that's going to be fun to watch. X going to give it to you. Right, now that I can climb walls, I can go up here, right? No? Oh. Yes, I can. Cool. Cool. Does it want me to go here? It does. This is a shortcut to get back. Okay, cool. I probably got to stop soon, don't I? Yeah, I don't want to be up too late. Yeah, I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. It's in the afternoon, though. Alright, it's sending me pretty far back. Oh, wait a second. Is there anything over here? Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, a health upgrade that I can't tap. Wonderful. Nope. Alright, can't get over there. 
You work from 7 to 6? What, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., really? That's crazy. Or 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, it's a 4 by 10. Okay. Oh, yeah, they used to do that when we worked at Cablevision. Okay, Monday through... Hey, that's good. Yeah, because remember at Cablevision at one point, they let me do 4x10, but the days off were Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It sucked. I hated that fucking job. <laughs> 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., okay. Well, there you go. But then you get three days off, and it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so that's good. I now work for K9 Companions as the IT help desk coordinator, assigning people employee tickets, not customers. Oh, okay. Not on the phones. Either. Oh, it's, there you go. Yeah. Honestly, like, there were companies I worked for, and it's like, I would have excelled in any other position besides, you know, customer service or tech support. Like, if I could have been a lead tech or something, you know what I mean? I, I think I would have done well with that, but... No, it was really messed up because it was like, if you were good at talking to customers, then they'd promote you to a job where you never talk to customers. But if you were bad at talking to customers then that's all you would ever do until they fire you. Oh, look at this! Uh... <laughs> Let's see where this goes. Why the fuck not? What? There's a whole, like, sky island over here. That's crazy. Just Windows Server 2019, Microsoft 365, Exchange, TP Export, Phones, WebEx, Teams. Okay, that's cool. Well, that was pointless except for... Uh, unless I'm going for map completion or something, but yeah. I wonder why they put all that stuff up there. There's nothing there. Ow! Motherfucker! I forgot they did that. It's been a couple hours since I've seen one of them. So this is a Metroidvania, all right. Look at all this backtracking. Yeah, I swear I went into all these caves, but I must have missed the one that had the lightning shot. Hang on. I want to get that. Let me let me see if I can figure out how to get over there. It's something I would not have been able to get before anyways, so... Okay. Gimme! Life up. Excellent. I do like when there's new parts of the map you can go to. So question, are we even allowed to uh, stream Tears of the Kingdom, or are we all going to get DMCA'd for that? Or is it just because it's like ahead of the launch date or something? So it's like, seems like Nintendo's been really cracking down on like everything lately. Like some dude went to prison and then still has to pay them millions of dollars over the course of the rest of his fucking life. Okay, they were just upset because people were streaming early because they got 
early copies. Okay. Yeah, I can understand that. Although it's not their fault the game arrived early, and what were they supposed to do? Just not play it? Or, or wait before streaming? Like, come on. Okay, so I think I know why I... I was commenting on my last video on how I didn't get the, uh... The lightning weapon, and I guess I missed this cave. Because I knew I had it on my other file. Alright. Nintendo has endless copyright trolls. Yeah, I, I thought that companies were just using bots to do that sort of thing now. AI bots. But see, I like how Sega is pretty much like, yeah, do whatever the fuck you want on, on our, our old games. We don't care. Oh, hang on. I know what would make this a lot easier. Maybe. Finally got my DC working with the mod I installed. Oh, Dreamcast? Yeah, that was like one of the first systems that you could really mod and stuff. Not that they wanted you to, it's just... That was a partnership between Sega and Microsoft, I want to say. It had a special version of Windows, and people learned how to hack it. So I think it was kind of an open source system. And... Skies of Arcadia, you get to play it again. Yeah, I actually just ended up getting the uh, GameCube version of Skies of Arcadia. And I just run it on Dolphin. Oh, so one thing I haven't really tried yet is trying to run Dolphin in 4K on my new graphics card. I'm sure it'll work just fine. That's why I didn't have Thunderbreaker. Okay. Mystery solved. drop down twice. Dolphin runs better at 4K with DLSS because some games have image glitches above 1080p. Oh, I didn't know Dolphin had DLSS support. Well, then, then that's... Man, that's awesome. I'll totally try that. Okay. Why do I have to come back to Area 2, though? Alright, you know what? I gotta go to bed. Oh, you force it through the NVIDIA control panel. I didn't know I could do that. Alright, I'll look into that. Cool, thanks. Alright, it's 11.36. I gotta go to bed, so... You have to drive at 5 a.m.? Yeah, that sucks. Okay, yeah, you better go to sleep, too. Jeez. So, thanks to Visual Night for chatting, and uh, Ask Wheels was here, too. And uh, tomorrow night on... Twitch.tv slash Ask Wheels. You can check out Q&A Quest. I may or may not be a guest star. I can kind of just go on there when I feel like it. And then Sunday Night Shenanigans on Ask Wheels channel. Check that out. And I should be streaming again on Friday and Saturday. Saturday's still kind of up in the air, though, so we'll see. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>